Welcome to another vlog. Today is Tuesday, I don't know, May 21st? Yeah, I think it's May 21st. Yesterday was Victoria's Day and I'm just currently trying to quickly get ready because one, I hear Gemma, she's awake, and two, Seb is actually going to St. Thomas for work he has like 20 minutes of like quick work to do and he's like do you want to come with me and get some lunch as a family and i was like yeah i do but it depended on gemma's if she was going to be awake from her nap and she is so that means that we're probably gonna go which means i need to hurry up i just have um foundation and moisturizer on and i'm just literally gonna do this oh i forgot spf it's right in front of me okay spf because it's freaking so hot out there. I don't have any like muscle shirts. Is that what they're called? Tank tops? <laughs> I only have like really t-shirts. So this is what I'm wearing, which sucks because it's so hot. It's like hot enough to be wearing definitely a tank top. It's supposed to feel like 35 or something. Okay, I can't really see because I don't have contacts or anything. But it's gonna be fun to get out of the house, even though we had an extremely, extremely, <laughs> extremely busy weekend. Oh my gosh, I don't think I vlogged Thursday, and then I definitely didn't vlog Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because we were like, I knew we were going to be so busy this weekend, which would have made great content. But we were also with just a ton of family and friends like throughout the four days that I just wanted to be present and like not have to worry about vlogging and etc so that was actually really nice to just unplug for the weekend and enjoy you know the weekend <laughs> the long weekend so let me catch you up with some bangs quickly where's my phone Friday we had a wedding to go to and that was like so much fun i told my friend and this is the truth i tell everybody when they ask me how the wedding was it was hands down sorry for all the weddings i've been to but it was the best wedding i've been to it was so beautiful organized the food was fabulous uh seven i think a reason why i like i thought it was the best wedding ever is because seven i didn't know anyone except for the bride and the groom and we just i don't know I got out of my comfort zone and I met new people. I did know some of the girls from the bachelor party and the bridal shower, but it was still so much fun, like getting to know them better and having conversations and meeting their significant other. And I don't know, it was so fun. <laughs> and then um, Saturday my dad and my grandparents came down they only come down to London because they live like an hour and a half away they only come here maybe two three if we're lucky <laughs> three times a year and usually it's my sister and I going that way just because they both like my grandparents and my dad live that way so it's just easier because my dad has to drive to my grandma and grandpa's pick them up and then drive to London so it's like three hours for my dad driving but yeah it was it was a lot of freaking fun. And then after that, they left. We had a barbecue with them. Seb's sister and fiance came over and we had a fire. And then Seb went fishing Sunday morning with them. So I was busy just like getting the house organized after all of all of the barbecue and hosting and stuff. Deep clean the house, caught up on laundry. And then when Seb got home, Shortly after that, we went to his parents for a barbecue and saw them. And then we came home and Seb and I were going to have quality time. He's like, oh, let's have a fire again. Invite this person and this person. I was like, honestly, like I'm pooped. Like I'd rather just him and I like watch a movie, snuggle, make some popcorn, hang out. And we did that for about 45 minutes and both of us passed out. Like it was, we were both just so exhausted from all of the events. And then yesterday was Victoria's Day. <coughs> Excuse me. So we went to go see my mom. She's like the only family member that I didn't see that weekend. So we went to go see my mom and she saw Gemma. We brought Wilson. She has a dog. So they hung out. 
Seb helped her with a few things. We came home, we cooked dinner, and then next thing you know, it's like 7 p.m. And we're like, what? So yesterday went by really quick, but um, it was a lot of um, socializing, which is good because I explained this to Seb. I was like, he, he's never heard this quote, but maybe some of you have like, um, filling your cup so imagine everybody has a cup and socializing and being out and like interacting with people fills your cup so mine was feeling pretty empty I'm not gonna lie like just uh being home all day with just Gemma and love her like love her but like actually having conversations with people meeting new people like all of that th all of those things really just um fills my cup and I can't fill other people's cups like I can't make Seb happy, I can't make Gemma happy, I can't make, you know, my other friends and family happy if my cup's, my cup's empty, like, I don't have anything to give them. So, after this weekend, my cup is definitely, like, overflowing, which is amazing, and I just overall feel so refreshed and, like, happy. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense, but I got that, uh, that saying from a friend that I used to work with at the Y, at the Child Care Center, but... There's like an actual like quote for it, but I don't know what it is. So lots of fun this weekend. We made it in the truck. I made an iced coffee to go. I put cinnamon, no, I put brown sugar in it. So it's like a brown sugar coffee. Gemma's singing in the back. <laughs> Seb's paying for fuel. And then we're gonna head to St. Thomas. Hopefully there's a park nearby where he's going to be working. He said he's only gonna be working for 20 minutes. Then we'll find a patio, probably have some lunch. He'll drop us back off at home and go to work. But yeah, it's going to be a nice little outing. Hi. Are you singing? Are you singing? So we made it to Seb's job site. He's currently just scanning. Um... We were gonna like go to a park and stuff, but if you know St. Thomas, you know like there's a section of St. Thomas that's literally just all factories. That's where we are. We're in the middle of all the factories. <laughs> so there's not really any area for us to go play. There is random grass patches, but I feel like that'd be really weird. So Gemma's just out of her car seat getting some exercise and having a snack. We're waiting for daddy. He said that he should only be like 15, 20 minutes max. So it's only been 10. So he should, <laughs> he should be back soon. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. You're so cute. I almost left my phone on the bench. We're eating at, uh, it's called Fries or Us. Look at this cute little spot. <laughs> Good thing I realized my phone was over there. Wow. Yummy. <laughs> She's looking at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll do it. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Come here, honey. I don't know where your face is, but... Oh my goodness! That wasn't graceful. Well, you gotta be quick about it, because... Why are you getting her eyeballs? I don't know her screaming. She's so mad right now. Wow, look at everything they have. They have ice, too. We don't need ice. Brewood or Brywood. It's Brywood. You want to see anything inside? Or? Um, I'm gonna you gotta go. go pee for the bottom one. <laughs> wow. What is it? Sourdough. Yeah, I know. But look how fluffy. Yeah, I'm gonna make that. I want to make sourdough. Pet food center. It's a sick birdhouse. 
Look, they have bird feed, bird feed, peanuts. We should get Wilson something. Yeah, is that a feeder or a house? We should get Wilson something. I know. All chipmunks. The three chipmunks we have? Yeah, because Luna keeps eating them. <gasps> Ooh, that's cool. That's a feeder. Wilson and I are out for a walk by ourselves. I was like, I need to get out of the house. So Seb is giving Gemma dinner and we're just walking through. It's Sud's car wash. Instead of hitting like the busy Dundas Street, I like to cut through here when they're closed. I don't do it when they're open because like all these vacuum slots are usually busy and there's a bunch of people and I'm just like, you know, I'm good. But yeah, so I picked up the, did I, did I say? I don't even think I told you guys. I saw toys on Facebook Marketplace for Gemma. It was like three toys for $10. So I grabbed them. And then I also bought sourdough starter. I'm so excited to start baking bread. I've wanted to do it for so long. And then just randomly, this girl sells sourdough starters to people who want to you know, start sourdoughing. And yeah, I messaged her and I pick up some sourdough starters, so I'm so excited to get her going. I already named her. Um, I oh my god, what did, oh yeah, I named her Marble. <laughs> I don't know though because I can't remember Marble, so I feel like if I can't remember what I named her, then it must not be a good name. So I don't know. I like the name Marble, but every time I'm like, oh, I got a new sourdough starter, and then I try and think of her name because like it just doesn't stick. So I think I need a new name. Seb said Sarah, and I was like. I like the name Sarah, but it's just like so common that I want it to be a cute name that you don't really hear a lot. I know it's just literally sourdough starter. But if you have ever wanted to get into bread making, I would look up sourdough starting or sourdough starter, like sourdough making. I don't know what you call it, but it's um, it seems pretty hard. But honestly, I've done so much research in the past couple weeks that I think I got a hang of it and it helps a lot if you know somebody or can buy sourdough starter off of somebody because it takes like four weeks for the sourdough starter to actually like become active so just buy it off someone and then that way it takes like two days three days max versus three to four weeks but yeah this person needs to cut the grass oh my god in the jungle the mighty jungle we have dinner going it's like quarter to nine Gemma's sleeping and seb and i are just making dinner for ourselves him and i have been in like a really bad habit of cooking dinner really late and yeah i don't know it's i guess it's because Gemma, like obviously oh my gosh it's live obviously you know we want to hang out with her and feed her like we cook her dinner and a lot of people are like why don't you give her dinner like what you're having for dinner. It's because Seb comes home, and I can't even just say Seb, like me too. One, we had a really late lunch today. I think it was like 2.30 by the time we ate, so we aren't hungry until now. And Seb usually comes home full because he's so busy, say his like whole day in Toronto. He doesn't have lunch till like 2.33. So then he comes home at five and he's not hungry. Six o'clock, he's not hungry. So I usually have like a a later snack like five six to hold me over until he's hungry because he's the cook and yeah and it's awesome honestly like super easy to cook for Gemma I cooked ground beef yesterday so I just gave her leftovers and then I had leftover rice so I just made her like a ground beef rice mixture with cucumber and carrots so it's like very quick to cook her uh, dinner but we have corn on the cob, that fresh corn on the cob cooking. We have potatoes because we only have this much rice left. Like not even, like that's a Gemma serving. So I was like, who put that back in the closet? Probably said. But I only like to eat rice when I'm having like shrimp. And well, that's, a, that's basically it. I'm more of a potato gal. 
But anyways, there's potatoes on the barbecue and then shrimp will also go on the barbecue. I'm so excited. I used to hate seafood. Like, I'm not really a seafood person. This, as far as I'll go is like shrimp and then occasionally a salmon here and there and then fish if Seb cooks it because he knows how I like it. But uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just never really liked seafood in general but shrimp on the barbecue or like on the cast iron like nice and crispy with lots of yummy seasoning and like lemon juice Mwah, so good it's one of my favorite dinners to this but yeah look how good this corn looks pop, 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 pop. <laughs> plays the music for us said it's in the garage doing some woodwork he made this for me yesterday it's actually burn wood he like sanded it down put a finish on it made it really nice and put little legs on it so he's making two more the one that he's making right now is like really big and i was like um i want that one so he's gonna try and sell this one try and sell another one he has um an instagram that he has like a small business with but I'm going to take the big one and he's going to try and sell the two smaller ones. I love the look of this and I think it looks so good on the center table. The big one will look even nicer. But yeah, I took off my nails and I already pre-made some nails. But I'm, I'm going to let my fingers breathe a little bit. I don't really have anything going on except for like appointments for the rest of the week. But I've been wanting to watch Abigail, the scary movie for like a week now and we've been so busy and every time i mention it to seb seb's like nah, 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 nah. like i don't know he just he says he wants to watch it but like i don't think he wants to watch it it's not like he's scared of scary movies he actually doesn't really like scary movies he thinks they're very predictable so i think i'm just gonna watch it by myself because he's doing his own thing he said tonight he's gonna be in the garage gaming maybe have a friend over i have no idea but i am going to watch Abigail, I think. It's this one. So, yeah. I'm not very good at watching scary movies by myself, though. So that should be fun. Today has been a busy day. Wilson had an appointment at 11 a.m., which means we had to leave at 10 because it's 45. No, it's about 40 minutes away. And I like to arrive to things early. So I've been out of the house from, like, I think, like, 10 to 3. So I've been just relaxing and trying to catch up on my energy level and same with Gemma she's been passed out since we, we got home she uh, doesn't sleep very well unless she's in the car but if we're in the store she's just too much to look at and she can't really sleep very well but I did some running around and I wanted to go through everything I took Wilson to his vet appointment came home dropped him off and then Gemma was sleeping so I was like okay this is the time to do running around so then I went and did a um, a couple stores where did I go first oh I went to Home Depot first and I got lots of um, annual flowers just to go into some pots on the deck to bring some flower annuals if you don't know gardening I honestly didn't know this until a couple years ago annual means it doesn't come up every year so they they tend to run a little bit cheaper so I got you know, like the six pack, like the little squares, I got four of those for $16, which is good because if you think about it, $16 and there's gonna be color on the deck from now all the way until it gets chilly or like they die off, which is going to be all summer. So I have to plant those in some planters outside. I plan on doing that later when Seb gets home. I'm sure we're gonna like hang out as a family in the backyard, which we usually do, or maybe not. I don't know, he's coming home late today. That's all I know. So I don't know what time he's coming home. And then I went to Walmart to get formula. So I got a big thing of formula. And then I saw this summer hat. She has one summer hat and it's like pink with white flowers, but it always doesn't match. It always doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't match her outfit. So I wanted a white one. So this is perfect for any outfit. And it's a cute little sun hat. It was $9. It's okay. It's okay. I'll explain why I'm not. I was like, I thought it was a good deal and then I went somewhere else and I was like, ah, I should have just waited, but that's okay. I also got these little biker shorts for $4. <laughs> They're so cute. With like a little t-shirt. Oh my gosh, stop it. I got 12 to 18 months because Gemma has big thunder thighs and a big booty. So I feel like those will fit better than the, I think it was like three to six or six to 12 or something. I don't know. 
Oh, so I can never remember the sizing. And then I got more of this oatmeal that you just add water to. My friend Kenzie gave me two bags of this because she works at a child care center and they're doing like a craft with it or something. And um, the other uh, cereal that I was giving Gemma was making her break out in hives every time she ate it. There's two different kinds and then she was breaking out on both. So I got rid of them, I got rid of it, and then I got this one. This one is gluten or dairy free excellent source oh it's it's dairy free so the other one said it contains milk so she must be allergic to milk because she breaks out in hives when she's eating it and then i got oh, all-purpose flour for my sourdough starter she's getting she's already to room temperature i'm gonna start feeding her because i plan on baking this weekend on like saturday or sunday so i'm gonna bring her back to life i'm gonna do a whole tiktok on that so i have all-purpose flour and then also it was five for five dollars for these pouches i don't give these to her often i just like to have them on standby especially if we're going to do like day trips or going to do it you know going to a restaurant or errands or something i can squeeze a little bit out in her mouth and i like to get just like the standard washi some of these aren't standard so i got two of the standard applesauce ones and then i got apple strawberry oats that says oats i thought it was just apple strawberry i didn't see the oat part that's kind of gross but whatever she'll like it and then banana peach and apricot i wanted a peach one because she loves peaches and then banana and mango she also loves banana and mangoes actually the reason why i was like oh i shouldn't have got the white hat because I went thrifting at Valley Village and I saw this for $1.99 and I thought this was so cute. I'm going to throw it in the wash first and don't worry, like there's no lace or anything I hope, but um, some people might find this gross if it's a secondhand hat, but I don't. I'm just going to throw it in the wash. It's perfectly fine and it fits her well. I mean, I didn't try them on because I want to wash it first, but it's 12 to 18 months and it seems to be like a fairly good size. So this is her first toque and I again this will probably go with any outfit really and then i saw this one i was like okay i can't pass up a cute little pink kitten <laughs> kitten hat for 2.99 so i got three hats for her today and then i when i was looking for a dutch oven i came across this in a huge massive beautiful mixing bowl i was actually i didn't even think about a mixing bowl because the only mixing bowls that i have are like the tin ones or plastic ones so to have like a ceramic um used and abused mixing bowl i'm so happy about and i think this brand is like it's sunburst canada oh it's made in canada it's so cool and it's guaranteed oven proof i don't know what you throw in the oven in this maybe like a potato i, I don't know but I absolutely love that. That was $14.99. That was a little bit of a splurge. I don't think I would have bought the bowl like brand new at a store for more than $14.99, but that's okay. I just, I love like the detail and just the big white bowl. It's, anyways, and then I saw this. Look how cute this is. Okay, you can't really like go shopping with it because it's like weird like it's not close but i'm gonna put flowers in this and i'm gonna put it outside it was 5.99 which again value village prices have gone up but you know what i was like this is too cute to like pass up so i'm gonna put fake flowers i'm not fake i'm gonna put real flowers in here and put it like either on the table outside or on the deck or something i thought this was so cute and then yeah that's i think that's all i got I just finished uploading a YouTube video on YouTube, a <laughs> vlog. That's the last one you guys just saw. I just published that. I did some gardening quickly because Seb was hanging out with Gemma and my phone was inside. She was already starting to get fussy. She's super attached to me. So I'm trying to get Seb to um, hang out with her a little bit more just because, yeah, she's just really attached to me. So. I got a little bit of gardening done. I'll take you out and show you. I still have some more to do and I was going to do it when she's in bed, which she's in bed now, but honestly, I am so pooped. And the house is an absolute disaster. So, yuck. <laughs> so I need to clean that up and also I'm starving. So, 
too much to do to finish gardening. I can do it tomorrow, the next day, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be nice for, the, for a little while. So, um, these are wildflowers. These are how my wildflowers are doing. This one is not doing so good, but this one looks awesome. I might get some more of like the little flowers like this and kind of just like fill in the, no, I think that looked really silly actually. Maybe I'll just get more seeds and I don't know. I don't know what to do with it, but I got these. There's this one that broke, so there's three of those. There's this pretty one. I think it's mix of colors. There should be like a yellow in there. And then I got three different types of flowers in this one, or no, two. And then, oh, it's getting fogged up. Over here, I have another set of these. This one looks a little purple. This one looks like it might be yellow. And then that one, this is what Seb's mom gave me. I have to put that in like the actual back garden right there, I'm thinking. And then this is the purse that I got thrifting. <laughs> it's so cute. I filled it with these I don't know, blue purple flowers and then there's also that one and then my neighbor she gave me two sunflowers to go in my garden so i'm gonna plant these in my garden as well there was a massive sp oh yeah there's a massive spider living on this one but you can chill i don't care seb finished the stand for me this is the one that was on there before so it's much not much smaller but it's pretty small and then it has the wood legs that he cuts off the ends and adds here so it's super cool this is just barn wood that he bought and he's turning them into like nice stands you could always like lay parchment paper and then make it like a security board because i honestly love how big this is and i feel like i could fit a lot on here but he's going to sell this one and then i think he's making two other ones so if you want one message me but <laughs> you can also follow him on instagram but i love it i think it looks really good ignore the messy table but i need to figure out how to style it the flowers are obviously not going to live forever, so I'm not really sure what to put on it. I made a TikTok feeding my sourdough. This is where she was, um, I don't even know, maybe like two hours ago. So she's risen, risen, risen? She's risen a little bit. By 12 hours, it should double the size, and then I can make sourdough if it's like bubbly and... Um, like active i guess which it's starting to bubble so that's a really really good sign i hope i can make sourdough soon i unfortunately wait yeah i didn't find it i can't remember what like whenever i'm editing a youtube video and then i'm making a vlog i get both videos like mix up i'm like did i say it in this vlog yesterday's vlog did i not mention it did i say it on youtube or tiktok did i say it like Oh, it's so confusing, but I bought a brand new Dutch oven off of Amazon. It comes Friday, so a couple more days of feeding, and then I will be able to make sourdough. So that will probably be my next vlog, trying to make sourdough bread for the first time. <laughs> I hope it works out. <laughs> I added four lights on each corner. This bench usually doesn't go here, but we had people on... I don't even know what day it was. I think Sunday. And I just haven't moved yet. We got our hammock out. So Seb lays on it mostly. But it's really relaxing. Anyways, I added four solar lights to the corner. And then two here because we go into the shed. I can't wait to do the front of here. I think I want to do like... Either like a, like a little wood deck almost. Or like make patio stones. I want to get like planters for up here. Just overall make this look nicer. And then I think that's the only thing that's new to... Oh, we brought out our patio furniture. I don't know if I've showed that. Um, it's just like a table and an umbrella. It's all wet because I did the gardening here, like all the pots and plants. And then I just sprayed everything down. Um, we also want to redo our deck. I just don't know when we're going to do that. We're looking at moving, actually we want to one be out of london need a bigger house and we're just kind of like over this house so i don't know i don't know what's happening with that but for right now we're here and i don't know if we're gonna rent this place out or sell it 
so we need to figure that out because if we're renting it we can't leave the deck like that because it's not safe and you know whoever moves in here is going to be like we can't live here with this deck <laughs> which is totally understandable it's horrible so if we're renting it we still need to do the deck which is going to push us from moving out sooner we kind of wanted to move out like this year well Seb does he's like really anxious to leave but if we're renting it out it's probably going to push us like another year because we have more work to do but if we're selling it we can sell it as is and then the new owners can redo the deck however they want but yeah we need to crunch some numbers and figure that out but yeah just something random i'm about to hang out with seb in the garage we usually sometimes come out here and especially this night so we might even sit on the deck here and uh just spend some time together before i go to bed because i'm tired <laughs> but i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe like comment love you all see you in the next one